the home of local Christian music. Amplify Podcast. Make loud his praise. Glorious day, our Savior Christ was born. From his throne, he humbly came for us. Emmanuel, eternal life has come. The nations sing his praise, sing his praise. Look 
thinking what he said For he claimed to be the son of God, yeah Is he or is he not? He left no other option when he made his declaration He said, I am Jesus, I am the son of God I loved you so much that I died on a Roman cross I am Jesus, I am the son of God I rose from the dead so you the song called Who is Jesus by Ernest and Ming Lee as well as Lord of All by Impact Life Worship taken from their newly released EP called Be The Light. Welcome everybody to another episode of Amplify Podcast where we bring you the latest and the best mix of local Christian music right to you to bless you and empower you each day. And today we have an awesome program lineup for you. We have more worship songs coming out by Generations Worship. Issue Christian Church Worship as well as Sherry We. And not to forget, we'll be sharing our Amplified Devo Originals with you. And today's topic is on how to profit. Ching ching. Well, we'll be asking questions like, does God want me to profit? And why does he want me to profit? As well as some tips on how we can profit in life. All these coming right up on our Amplify Devo Originals where we prayerfully write this devotion especially to refresh, renew and restore your soul in Christ. So stay tuned for that because we know that you will profit from it. And if you have been loving all the songs that we've been featuring on our podcast and want to cure more of them from certain artists that you like, you can head down to our webpage which is www.amplifystudiosg.com and click on the music tab in the menu because from there you can choose from all the different churches and artists links and it will lead you to their music page for some you can even watch their videos or MVs or listen to their music across various platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer or even YouTube Music so go and check it out and also our calendar page is back online Due to the COVID situation, we stopped posting events on our page, but our calendar page is finally back. And some of you might be wondering, what is this page all about? Well, this is the page on our website where we post up and give a shout out to any Christian events that are happening in Singapore in a couple of weeks or months ahead. So you can head down and check out any Christian events that are open to the public. And if you are interested, just simply click on them and you'll find out more details and able to register through them as well. So do check them out. 
And if you have any prayer needs or even an awesome testimony that you want to give God the glory and shout it out, you can always also go to our webpage and leave your prayer request and testimony under our prayer and praise column. If you have a prayer request, you can leave your prayers under the prayer request column and we will pray for you over our Amplify podcast. You don't have to leave your name or anything because all we want to do is just to pray together and alongside with you. And we believe that when we pray corporately in faith together, even if it's over the media airway platform, miracles are going to happen. And when that happens, we want you to share them on our praise report column. Because you never know, someone who hears your testimony will be encouraged in faith and begin to seek God and trust Him for their miracle as well. And the best thing about this is, you can write as many prayer requests and praise reports as you like. It's free! And lastly, if you have been greatly blessed by Amplified Podcast that is free for all to listen and want to continue to support us in what we do, we strongly encourage you to be our patron. Because as our patron, you will not only be able to help us to keep Amplify up and running and to help us to put more uplifting local worship music and devotions up in the media air, you will also help us to build our vision which is to see revival in the land through the local worship songs that are inspired by the breath of God. And we truly believe that this is an incredible tool and vehicle to carry the gospel to those who hear it. And we pray that this podcast will bring more people to the saving grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ and that they will know His love and be saved. So your giving will help us to come up with more inspiring content on our podcast and reach out to more people. And thanks to your support, today our Amplify podcast has reached over 40 different countries. So praise the Lord for that and we want to thank you for your support and we pray that this podcast will continue to bless you and that you continue to be blessed by the local worship songs and devotions too. Okay, moving on. Here's a song called God of Breakthroughs by Generations Worship as well as a powerful song by Asian Christian Church Worship called Overwhelming Odds. And after our Amplified Devo Originals, we will end this podcast with the song called Happy by Sherry Wee. So stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed. And of course, stay tuned to the best mix of local Christian music only on Amplify Podcast. Home of local Christian music, only on Amplified Podcast. Make loud his praise. Yeah.
Amplify Devo. Be refreshed, be renewed, be restored. Hi, Amplify listeners. In today's Amplify Devo, we will be talking about how to profit. And our scripture reference is taken from Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit, who leads you by the way you should go. In life, we all want to profit, especially for businessmen. At the end of the day, what makes your business successful is the profits. And in whatever situations in our lives, we all ask this question, what do I gain from it? In every investment made, we all want to profit and be gainers. We study and predict how the market will go and which company to invest our stocks and shares in, also that we can make a good profit. Even in a contract agreement, we want to be at the profitable end and not to be on the deficit side. On our account books, we want to see the ledger balance be in the green rather than red. You see, you can go all out to find ways to profit, be it in your business, in investments, in buying or selling, between partners or even friends. But all those studies and predictions are not 100% foolproof. No one can predict when the market will be bullish or even crash 
and the market at times can be so volatile that it might crash unexpectedly. Your wits and knowledge can only do this much for you. So who can we depend on in times like this? God, of course. Do you know that God wants you to profit in life? And He wants to teach you how. Does God want me to profit? Yes, God wants you to flourish and profit in life. Which parent wouldn't want their kid to prosper and profit in all things? God as our loving Father would definitely want His beloved children to profit so that they can be a blessing to others and shine forth His glory. Solomon is probably still the richest man ever to live. And how did he profit? God gave him wisdom, meaning God taught him how to prosper. Let's take a look at the verse in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. And let's see how we can profit and prosper in life. God firstly declares that He is our Redeemer. Jesus, our Redeemer, has redeemed us from our sins, death, and shame. He has redeemed us from the curse so that we can be blessed, favoured, and loved by God. Every blessing from God is ours to take. Jesus has redeemed us so that we can be gainers in life and not losers. So let us not shunt away what Jesus has died to redeem us. Other than finance, we stand to gain and profit in health, in spirit, and whatever loss we have suffered, get ready for His restoration. His restoration will allow us to be better gainers than before. Lost a job? Don't worry. God will restore you a better job with a better salary and increment. You will gain a position of influence and not just a job position. Lost your health recently? Get ready to receive God's healing because God wants you to be gainers in health and He has healing for you through the redemption of Jesus. Whatever you lost, God can restore much more to you, all because He has redeemed you with His blood. So you profit because He is your Redeemer. Secondly, He said He is our God. Which means, whatever area in our lives, He is the Lord over all and He is in charge. Be it for work or our business, or investment or our health and family, or finances or relationships, let us surrender it all to God and let Him lead us and take charge. When He is in the driving seat of our lives, trust Him that it is going to be a journey full of blessing and pleasant surprises. You will be gainers and prophetess and not be losers. Whatever problems or even debts you may have, begin to cast your cares upon Him because He cares for you and see Him redeem you and profit you. He wants to be your God. Thirdly, when you allow Him to be God over your life, He will then teach you how to profit as mentioned in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17. He will teach you either through His Word, through your family, mentors, pastors, leaders, godly counsels, but most importantly, through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit right now is your greatest teacher and guide. The problem is, are we asking and are we listening? The Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us the way. When you find no way out of your problems, debts, or crisis, the Holy Spirit will teach and guide you out and lead you to prosper. God wants you to profit. Nowhere in the Bible says that God wants us to be as poor as the church mice, where we have to beg or show people our poor state as a form of humility. Humility is, in fact, allowing God to profit us rather than by our own strength or wisdom. So know the Father's heart that He wants His children to profit in life so that they can be a blessing to others and shine forth His glory. Today, let's surrender and ask Him to teach us how to profit 
in life. Christian music, amplify podcast, make loud its prayer.